We got Just Rain in the studio. It is YouTube hey. week. Yeah. Welcome. Just Rain, how are you? I'm good. How are you? All right. I'm great. <laughs> I see that you do a lot more uh, music stuff lately. Like, I mean, you yeah. got music videos, yeah. and is that somewhere you want to go? You want to be a, a, like a full time musician? Man, I want to do everything. Like, okay. I, so, but like a lot of the music that I do is has been like parodies, right? All the mm -hmm. time, and a lot of people don't know I've been classically trained in indie music since I was like since I was five. Mm -hmm. Wow, right? So I've got before I even did YouTube, I used to travel doing music and and playing concerts and all the stuff as a kid, and the, uh, and so that that upbringing, and then I just started incorporating uh, parody music and a lot of the YouTube stuff that I did. Right. And then people were like, yo, man, it's actually like pretty... You, yeah, you can, you can, you got some catchy stuff there, buddy. <laughs> and I was like, all right. So, not that I'm making like seriously, like, you know, deep, heartfelt music yet or anytime right. soon. But you know, I'm just doing stuff for fun and, and incorporating comedy elements and everything okay. that I'm doing. So it's just pretty much my brand, but spread over all different types of art. Did you always know you were funny? Did you like? Were you a kid and you were like the funny kid all the time? No, I was a really quiet kid. Okay, hmm. extremely quiet. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was, I was like introverted, and I think when I. I when I became older, I had to kind of always uh, stand up for myself, and and then I think I I kind of became funny that way. You know what okay, I mean? So yeah. like, you know, being having a guy with a turban, sometimes people will throw some, you know, crazy words at you, right? right so you yeah. gotta you gotta deflect that. So through comedy, I used to deflect all these crazy words that were being thrown at me when I was in school because kids are crazy when they're younger, right? right? Yeah, of course. So I think I think through that process, I I eventually became I I I, I grew. Right, you know, my my outer shell was exposed, and uh, yeah, and then I, through the influence of many great comedians, um, Dave Chappelle was like one of my biggest inspirations. The Chappelle wow. Show was one of my <laughs> biggest inspirations. Uh, I mean, Louis C.K. is a big inspiration of mine. Uh, Tim and Eric are huge yeah. inspirations. Anything at Adult Swim is actually is a huge huge thing for me. I'm missing like so many people, but like Jim Carrey when I was younger was a huge inspiration. So um, yeah, all of these elements just kind of helped me. And I don't think I'm funny. I just think I'm. I just you're think just I'm me. You, you're you're know? you, but you're real. Like so, a lot just, of this stuff is real. Like yeah, uh, it's real. Uh, I'm just, I'm just, I'm literally just me. But I, I'm, I'm a little bit crazy. So. We were watching uh, the driving instructor one. Oh my uh, god, yesterday. that kills me. Oh man, <laughs> probably like that. I was dying. I was yeah, dying. Yeah, it's so guys, real too. Yeah, like, yeah. Everybody went through that, <laughs> yeah. man. Like, because like 90 percent of the driver instructors here are Indian. Yeah, so yeah. everybody went through that. So I mean, yeah, these are just like real life. A lot of my videos or a lot of the stuff that I talk about, like any other comedian, just real life things that I've had to deal with growing up or things that I deal with now so yeah. it's just I just I see things in a different way and I flip them and I and I turn them into comedy so. uh, Megan wanted to ask this question but yeah. the, she was afraid to ask because she's like I'm a white girl I don't know if I can ask this <laughs> oh so I can't so see her face <laughs> on the radio <laughs> so this voice is here I'll ask what, what did your parents think were they like you know being being like I, I'm brown you're yeah, brown, yeah, we're brown. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. know your parents are like you know you're gonna be a doctor or a lawyer it's usually yeah. what they say yeah uh, that's exactly what, well, that's what, like, what do you think when it's like I want to be a you YouTube star. Yeah. Oh, they didn't understand at all. My dad was like, what is like, huh? My mom was scared. She's like, people have other families are going to talk bad. And right? like, Your son is, you know, is, you can't do this. And exactly, yeah. So at first, they were like, just stop. You don't do it. Don't. And I was like, okay, I'll stop. But I didn't. I kept going. Yeah. And it's when when other parents come up to you or other members of the community come up to your parents like, well, that is your son. I respect him. He's, he's a noble gentleman. Right. And then when, uh, when, when the cash flow starts coming in, then they got no problem. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you know, of course. When, you, when the money and the respect comes in, then they got no problem. But before that, it was a little bit of a struggle. So, oh, man, yeah. I, I know the feeling, man. My uncle, uh, still to this day, he'll call my mom and be Stop like... Stop right now. I yeah. told you so many times. Why? Is, is he <laughs> Ryan Seacrest yet? My like, is he out of family. <laughs> Take a ball out of family. Take a ball out of your grandfather. He was a scholar. He was a gentleman. And you were a clown on the internet. <laughs> now you are doing this. <laughs> that was my dad. <laughs> that's still my dad. I call him. That's how he greets me. And then he goes, how are you? Do you need anything? I'm like, yeah. thanks for that. <laughs> this okay. is where... One of my favorite games, yes. and just to play just in life with everyone, yeah. is Would You Rather. Oh, I love that game. Okay, so I, I have... I love destroying people's <laughs> feelings and self-respect so and I have dignity. three Would You Rather questions for you that I okay. totally made up on myself. All right, let's do it. Okay. One. Yeah, she checks Google. Yeah, would okay. you, no, I didn't. I swear. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll believe you. I would you rather yes. hook up with Rihanna if she was completely covered in cheese whiz? Okay. Or... That's, that's easy. Not at all. Or not at all. Yeah. What, kind of question is that? what do you? You love her, so you think yeah, about that. Um, who would ever say no to that? So like, she's totally covered head to toe in cheese whiz. And yeah, you're... I get a snack first, <laughs> and then you know I get to have some fun <laughs> with Rihanna. 
I got a you snack and then two? I get another great snack. Like, there's yeah. two snacks in one. Come on. I'm, yeah. All right, all right, Come on. all right. That wasn't even a question. Okay, okay. Would you not eat cheese whiz off of anybody's body? Don't ask her about any of that. Uh, okay, Quincy did it. Quincy Combs. There Quincy Combs. All right, see? He's my guy right Diddy's now. Son? Okay, Diddy son. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> <Would he? laughs> <laughs> Would you rather be stuck at six hundred and sixteen thousand and eight hundred and eighty subscribers? That's how many you have right now on YouTube. Oh wow. Jeez, I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> or uh, get totally naked in one video to bump it up to a hundred million. Hundred million. Yeah, but you have to do a video completely naked. Okay, depends it's on what I'm censored. doing in the video, though. I would get naked. Oh, it's not censored. You're totally naked. Jeez. Okay, you know what? I don't even have that much self-respect for myself, <laughs> so I would do it. But, you know, just for my... I just want to make I just want to make sure my mom isn't sad, super sad. So, you know what? I'm going to go the high route and You wouldn't say, do it. Wait, I would be stuck at that number forever? Yeah. That's fine, but as long as... Like, the, view, the view count doesn't get affected, right? No, view count, but right, you're cool. stuck. I'll, I'll, I'll keep stuck. dropping. I'll keep dropping them hot singles, but if I'm stuck at that, it's for ground count. All right, not going to get as naked long as the views for your come mom. In, as long as all, everything else is good, I'm cool. That's why I get naked. He's not getting naked. Okay, last one. Yeah. Would you rather have Drake's hotline bling on loop for the rest of forever? Yeah. It follows you around your whole entire life. Okay. Or... When you walk around, you walk around how he dances in the video. That's how you walk. <laughs> <laughs> Forever. I actually dance like that at weddings. With you walking around like this every day of your life. Oh, yeah, I would do that. 100%. You do that instead of having the track on loop forever? I would have both. Because <laughs> if people were like, why are you dancing like that? I'd be like, I have no reason to give you. But if the track's playing, then it was like, oh, this guy just really likes that song forever and ever. And that's all he does. That's okay. As long as he's not that crazy. Like, imagine if there was no music, then he'd be really crazy. But since Hot Like Blink's playing, then he's kind of crazy. So it's all right. So, okay. yes, I would have both.